I really like using Litchi software. Setting waypoints and points of interest makes capturing quality images and video much easier. But recently, a viewer ran into some problems with waypoints that led the aircraft into a crash. I suggested that with GPS and the maps we are using, there are factors like accuracy of GPS and map projections and parallax with map images that require some caution when planning a mission. While I can't provide you with exact error corrections, this video should provide enough information to make you cautious when planning missions in tight areas. I'm using Litchi software to record the iPad screen. I have the Phantom 3 Advanced sitting on a brick retaining wall where I let it warm up for a few minutes while I calibrated the compass. I added my Garmin GLO to the same location and linked it to my iPad via Bluetooth. I turned the Phantom off and then on to establish the home point based on the Phantom GPS. The Garmin establishes the location of the controller, even though the actual controller is a few feet away. Since home and the controller are co-located, their positions on the map should be the same. If the GPS is perfectly accurate and the map is a perfect representation of the Earth. Neither of these conditions is true. I recorded the apparent movement of the Phantom and the Garmin for 15 minutes. You can see in the speeded up video how much each seemed to move even though they remained physically stationary for the entire period. The blue point of interest marker is where both the Phantom and the Garmin are physically located as represented by the map. The green H is the home point established when the Phantom was started. The blue circle is where the Garmin GPS indicates it is located. I didn't think the movement was too bad, since GPS should be accurate to within about 3 meters. The variation due to apparent motion was usually within a few meters, until over a period of 20 seconds, the Garmin position changed by 12 meters and the Phantom was slowly following, even though both were still firmly positioned on a brick wall. I'll continue to use waypoint planning with Litchi. The accuracy for my flights is within the accuracy and precision I expect. However, 
if I am ever tempted to plan a mission within a few meters of any hazard. I will overcome the temptation, and if I really need the image or video, I will fly it manually. Thank you for viewing. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to my channel.